Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will solve triangles. And to be specific, this is an example of tri triangle. Dahil ang focus natin is all about trigonometry. So for this setup, we will try to solve this right triangle given only the two sides of it. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are two right triangles, but in this tutorial video, ang focus lang natin is to solve for this angle. But syempre, I want to maximize this tutorial video in which kailangan na natin hanapin lahat ng missing parts na meron yung right triangle na to. So, mag-start muna tayo sa sides na meron tayo. For the sides, meron tayong side A, B, and C. So, where's the location of side A? Side A is opposite to your angle A. If this is your angle A, this is your side A, which is 24. For side B, side B is opposite to your angle B. So as you can see, wala pa siya. So we will leave it as blank. For side C, definitely, that is your hypotenuse. Now, let's go with the angles. For the angles, respectively, this angle is angle C, which is the 90 degrees. And what's missing are the two angles. Pero kanina, ang focus ng taga natin is angle B, pero lahat na nang nawawala dito is hahanapin na natin. So, where can we start? We can start by finding this side, or the side B. Now remember guys, this is a right triangle. So, how are we going to solve for the side B? We will use the concept of the Pythagorean Theorem. We will use this formula. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Right now, we have the value of C, which is 25. So, that would be 25 squared is equal to your A squared, which is 24 squared plus your b square. To make your solution quick, you can use your scientific calculator. And for this, you can manipulate the equation first. You can simplify 25 square and 24 square. But in my case, I'll be doing this one. 25 square minus 24 square. I transposed 24 to the other side. And that will be equal to b square. So, ang gagawin natin dito, that is 25 square minus 24 square. So, I'm showing you this, the quick solution. So, this is 49. And on the other side is b square. Get the square root. Get the square root. So, the square root of 49 is 7. Meaning, your b is equal to 7. This is 7. Actually, we can um, skip this part and easily get 7. Sir, how? Press the square root. Press 25 square. Then minus 24 square. And that would be 7. Okay? So we are good with the side B. What about the angles? For the angles, like, uh, let's start here. In the main problem and then later on we will solve for letter E. For the side B, what we need to do is to remember the six trigonometric ratios and to make it short, we can use the SOKA TOA. SO, KA, and TOA. Now, let's focus on this angle. With respect to your angle or to your acute angle B, Anong side ba yung 24 and 25? This side is your hypotenuse. And this side, with respect, again, now with respect to your angle B, this is your adjacent side. So, to figure out which ratio is useful for this problem, what we need to do is to see, check, which ratio has the A and H. So, as you can see, we need to use the ka. 
In other words, we will use the cosine ratio. So this, this will be cosine. And then we will represent this as angle B. So that is cosine B. Cosine angle B is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then next step, substitute the values that we already have from this right triangle. This is cosine B is equal to 24, which is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, which is the 25. Now, for this, if you have your calculator, again, what I'm saying is calculator is very important for this kind of calculation. Because if you don't have your, your calculator, your scientific calculator, you will do this manually. So for this case, if this is the case, to solve for B, ang kailangan lang gawin, that is B is equal to cosine raised to negative 1. And then, input mo yung 24 over 25. So how can we do that in your calculator? Press, shift, ano, uh, press, shift first, and shift, and then cosine. Again, again, again. For this button, this is cosine. But as you, as you can see, at the top of it, we have the cosine raised to negative 1. That is our target. To get that, press shift, cosine. Then for this fraction, you have this button. So you can input your fraction. That is 24 over 25. So enclose that using the parentheses, and then this is your answer. As simple as that. So as you can see, your B is 16.2602.04.71. We will round it off uh, in one decimal place. That will be 16.3. But remember, this is an angle. So we will put a degree here, and this is now the measurement of angle B. Angle B is 16.3 degrees. So as simple as that. Now guys, if this is 16.3 degrees, how are we going to solve for the angle A? So normally, what, you're, what we are doing is that we are subtracting the two angles from 180 but that's a hassle what you need to do is to subtract this angle from 90 degrees but because always remember if this is already 90 degrees meaning these two angles are complementary so try natin 90 minus 16.3 degrees the answer is 73.7 degrees and that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video on how to solve right triangles and for this case guys i want you to solve for this right triangle solve for side a b c angle a angle b and angle c your angle a is eight your angle B is, uh, your, your side B is missing. Your side C is 10. And as for the angle, your angle C is 90. And you, you already have, or you need to find the three remaining parts of this right triangle. So again, guys, if you're into my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.